everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch, and today is Friday. That means it's another Coaster Friday. Today we're going to jump right into Christmas and do a Christmas tree coaster. I found this Christmas tree at the craft store. It came in a little bag and it had some markers on there. Really, it's a kid's craft that you can, you know, color in, but I wanted to use it as my basis for this week's coaster. And I'm going to use buttons. I'm going to remove the string. We aren't going to need that for our coaster. Then I'm going to just use some acrylic paint in green and I'm just going to paint it. I will paint both sides, one or two coats, depending on how much I think it needs. And that's just to give it a good background, especially between the buttons, so you don't see any of the natural wood color. But don't forget to paint the edges as well. I'm going to paint right over the design. And if the paint doesn't fully cover the design, you can either flip it over or it isn't really going to matter because you're not going to see any of it once the buttons are on there anyhow. I'm going to let it dry and I'll probably do another coat. Now I have my buttons and I have my tree painted and I am just going to now take some glue that will adhere to plastic and other things. And I'm going to start at the top. And you want a good amount on there. If you are going to use this as an ornament, um, you will want to have that hole open. So you could just put glitter on top or something, but I am actually going to do a red button. Right there. And for the layered effect, I'm going to put another red button. right there and then I'm going to put a oops, like a pearl white button just like that. Now I'm going to just start filling in my tree with buttons and I'm going to go kind of random The only real tip I have is to get buttons that are somewhat even in their height just so that it doesn't completely throw off um, the balance so that when you're putting a cup on it, you want it to stay as even as possible if it can. All right, and for the stem, I have a couple of brown ones. 
to make up the stem. This is what we have so far. And now I'm going to do just a little fill in. To fill out the rest of it, I have these glass seed beads. So I am going to use a combination of red and green just so that we get a little bit of holiday color in there too. And I want them to stand on their side so you're actually seeing the color. Now I'm just going to add some glitter also. If any of that glue is still wet, hopefully it'll stick. Just for a little extra sparkle. And we will just let all of this sit until it's dry. Once it's dry and all of the excess glitter has been shaken off, this is what we are left with. And it's super cute, super stable as a coaster. The only part that is raised is the top, and that's what we have. We got a little bit of red in there. We got some glitter in there. What could be better? So be sure to let me know what you think of the Christmas tree button coaster down in the comments below. In the back, you can leave plain. You could put the little dots on there. If you wanted to, you could seal it, or you could put some cork on the back, whatever strikes you. I hope you guys like the button Christmas tree coaster, and I hope you give it a try. And remember, if you don't want to use it as a coaster, you can certainly use it as an ornament. It would still be cute hanging in the tree. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you have not subscribed yet, remember to do so by hitting the subscribe button and ringing the little bell. I will definitely see you next time. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye guys.